The Outlaws Motorcycle Club, also referred to as the Outlaws, is a notorious motorcycle gang recognized for its involvement in violence and criminal activities. Established in 1935, the Outlaws MC holds a prominent status as one of the oldest and most infamous outlaw motorcycle clubs worldwide. Operating as a one percenter club, they disregard the rules and regulations set by the American Motorcycle Association. Their reputation for brutality has solidified their position among the most dreaded biker gangs. Evolving from a local establishment to an international force, this is the narrative of how the Outlaws Mac rose to become the most infamous biker club in history. The journey began in 1935 at Matilda's Bar, situated on the former Route 66 in the Chicago suburb of McCook, Illinois, where the club originated and initially acquired its name. Initially, they did not fit the classification of a 1% group, merely being one among several motorcycle clubs in the area. However, with the onset of World War II, circumstances changed. Like numerous other clubs, their membership dwindled as individuals enlisted in the military. During those challenging times, the outlaws experienced a period of reduced activity, but they swiftly rebounded after the conclusion of the war. Their first significant post-war event was planned at Soldier Field in Chicago in 1946. However, a new obstacle emerged in the early 1950s, just as they were gaining momentum. Can you guess what happened? Well, many outlaws decided to depart from the group and join the police force. This departure had a considerable negative impact on their growth, leading them to acknowledge the decline in their membership. Nevertheless, these outlaws were not ones to retreat. They recognized the need to refocus, reassess, and emerge stronger. In the mid-1950s, they took decisive action. They opted to disband near McCook and regroup in the heart of Chicago. Recognizing the necessity for a fresh identity to mirror their grittier outlook in their new environment, they bid farewell to their old identity as the McCook Outlaws. Proudly, they adopted the name Chicago Outlaws. Their club's logo underwent a transformation, featuring a smaller, more menacing skull, replacing the previous design of a winged motorcycle and ornate old English letters. With their new tough image and a history as captivating as a wild journey down Route 66, the Chicago Outlaws Motorcycle Club emerged, poised to conquer the world. Over time, the club flourished and evolved, extending its influence across the nation and even venturing into international expansion during the vibrant 1960s. As the 1980s and 1990s unfolded, this expansion gained even more momentum, propelling influential outlaw motorcycle clubs, OMCs, like the Hells Angels MC, Outlaws MC, and Bandidos MC into formidable transnational organizations, now, boasting thousands of dedicated members spanning the globe, they transcended borders and cultures, solidifying their influence. Among these dominant OMCs, the Outlaws stood out as one of the largest and most infamous. With an impressive membership of 5,000 individuals dispersed globally, they maintained a vast network of 416 chapters across 41 countries. Renowned as daring riders who fearlessly traversed the highways, their legend was further enhanced by their historic rivalry with the Hells Angels. Like rival tribes vying for supremacy, clashes between the outlaws and the Hells Angels left behind a trail of legendary tales. Yet, despite the tension and competition, the allure of these outlaw motorcycle clubs remained undeniable. Their mystique, rebellious ethos and unbreakable brotherhood exerted a magnetic pull, attracting individuals from all walks of life. Whether roaring down American highways or exploring distant lands, the Outlaws Motorcycle Club etched its name in history, weaving together narratives of adventure, camaraderie and an enduring legacy. However, 
The trajectory took a darker turn, as some Outlaws members found themselves entangled in intense encounters with the law along their journey in the biker world. One such example is Ryan Big Red Daniel, a former president of the London Outlaws Motorcycle Club, who found himself engulfed in a serious legal ordeal when he was arrested and charged with assault causing bodily harm, allegedly against a woman. However, the tales of the Outlaws do not conclude there. Brace yourself for the legend of Randall Madman Miller, a member of the Outlaws Motorcycle Club whose reputation would quicken your pulse. Convicted of racketeering in 2000, his criminal activities spanned from killings to bombings, earning him the moniker Madman for his readiness to employ knives, guns, and even explosives. His motivations? Primarily to defend his biker gang's honor against their arch rivals, the notorious Hells Angels. This infamous biker gang has been embroiled in a series of audacious and perilous episodes of drug distribution, prompting law enforcement agencies to remain on high alert. In Detroit, a group of 14 Outlaws members found themselves ensnared in the pursuit of justice. Their guilty pleas uncovered a startling web of violent crimes, racketeering, illegal drug distribution, and firearms violations. Notably, these were not just lower-ranking members, leaders and associates from chapters in Fort Wayne, Indianapolis, and various regions of Detroit were implicated. Yet Detroit wasn't the sole location where the outlaws faced legal repercussions. The winds of justice swept into Kingston, Ontario, where a joint forces operation targeted their local chapter. This initiative resulted in the arrest of five individuals and the seizure of a vast array of contraband, including significant quantities of fentanyl and cocaine, suspected hydromorphone pills, digital scales, cash, prohibited weapons, rifles, body armor, and numerous cellular phones. Additionally, four vehicles were seized during the dramatic takedown. However, the criminal enterprises of the outlaws extended beyond national borders, penetrating even into the heart of London. A bold police operation uncovered the Outlaws Motorcycle Club's extensive cocaine trafficking operations in the region. Among those apprehended in the operation was Ryan Big Red Dano, a former president and purported current member of the Outlaws MC London chapter. From the bustling streets of Detroit to the serene landscapes of Kingston and the vibrant city of London, the criminal activities of the Outlaws Motorcycle Club have left no corner untouched. However, matters took a darker turn, entangling the lives of others. Randall Madman Miller's existence was marred by violence and chaos as a formidable enforcer for the Outlaws Motorcycle Club, perpetuating a long-standing conflict with the notorious Hells Angels. The year 1993 marked a pivotal moment as tensions between the two rival gangs escalated, culminating in a violent confrontation near Richmond. Madman Miller played a pivotal role in a violent conflict, leaving behind a trail of devastation. During a harrowing altercation, he mercilessly slit a man's throat, cementing his status as one of the most dreaded enforcers within the biker community. However, fate had different plans for Madman Miller. Eventually apprehended by law enforcement, he faced a flurry of racketeering charges and was sentenced to two life terms in prison, effectively removing him from the brutal society he once dominated. Despite Miller's apprehension, the legacy of bloodshed persisted. A series of terrifying shootings along Interstate 45 in southeast Texas resulted in the deaths of three individuals and the injury of another. These incidents bore the hallmark characteristics of motorcycle gangs engaged in wilderness warfare. Each victim, clearly affiliated with an illegal motorcycle gang, became unwitting targets in the violent crossfire between rival factions. Among the victims was Athanasi Tom Thumb Markopoulos, a courageous member of the Outlaws Motorcycle Club. Tragically, he fell victim to two ruthless Hells Angels on that fateful April 26th, 
in a brutal act of vengeance that underscored the never-ending cycle of retaliation between the warring gangs. Yet this is not where the story concludes. Under the Cloak of Darkness in 1978, Paul Ringette, a member of the Hells Angels, orchestrated a brutal assault on Jean Gontier, an associate of the Outlaws Motorcycle Club. The ongoing feud between the two gangs knew no bounds, serving as a grim reminder that violence begets more violence. Fast forward to June 24, 2007, another tragic chapter unfolded in motorcycle history when Frank Rigo Vital, a member of the Outlaws MC hailing from Roberta, Georgia, met a gruesome demise. Gunfire shattered the tranquility outside the Crazy Horse Saloon nightclub in Forest Park, Georgia, before dawn had even broken. Frank Vital fell victim to a harrowing gun battle at the hands of two members of the Renegades MC. Outlaw motorcycle organizations often have a dark and violent history intertwined with criminal elements. However, what's even more perilous than the drug trade and killings is the involvement of innocent lives. Several disturbing incidents have garnered national attention, shedding light on this shadowy aspect of the Outlaws MC. While not all members are implicated in such activities, certain episodes offer a glimpse into their more sinister side. In 2015, the Outlaws MC made headlines for a chilling and despicable crime. Two members of the Gypsy Joker Outlaw Motorcycle Club, an affiliated group, were convicted of the kidnapping, torture, and murder of former Portland club member Robert Huggins, earning life sentences in prison. This tragic event sent shockwaves through the motorcycle club community and prompted close scrutiny of the outlaws' activities. While these incidents represent only a fraction of the outlaws' MC's history, they serve as sobering reminders of the potential for dangerous and illegal behavior within certain outlaw motorcycle organizations, despite the camaraderie and warmth they may project.